Hi guys, Tirthankar from Blue Monk Studio here. Thought I'll make a quick video to show how I set up my USB interface, which is a Yamaha Steinberg UR824 with my Cubase Pro 10 and uh, also a quick rundown of the control room and uh, the input output sections and how I basically set this up. So let's begin. So I'll quickly go to studio here, studio setup, VST audio system. This is where you'll find all your SIO drivers. I'm, I've selected Yamaha Steinberg USB SIO already. And uh, we go down to the driver. This is the control panel for it. It shows you what all channels are active. Click on control panel. This way you can change your sample rate. I almost always uh, record at 96 kilohertz. Direct monitoring. This means I'm directly listening to the audio source from my uh, audio interface and not have not listening to uh, it being routed through my DAW. If I real time record something with plugins and want to hear that uh, quality and that output from my DAW, then I'll have to switch this off, go back to control panel, reduce the buffer size to like you know 120 samples or to avoid latency, and uh, and and I would take that approach, but. Most often I work with direct monitoring and uh, that's pretty much it. A very easy example of a scenario for going from within the DAW is suppose you're using, um, you're recording a vocalist um, who needs a special kind of a reverb plugin. And in that case, you want to have that plugin uh, on, on the vocalist's channel. And if you're using direct monitoring, you will not have access to that real time and in that case if you're using that plugin you want to hear it during recording you will want to switch off direct monitoring and go through the, the DAW and that's when you would need to do this uh, audio connections this is where we set up our input channels go to add bus create mono stereo whatever number of channels you need make sure you're hitting the right, clicking on the right number over here. I have moved on to control room since I think Cubase 9. It's an amazing tool to have and use. Um, monitor 1 is basically my, I'll just rename it here, it's it's my near field, uh, KH120A. Q1 is basically what uh, goes to the artist and this is my talkback channel. And you can you can always create more. Uh, you can always add more channels. You can add as many as three more Q channels and uh, three more monitors. Add headphones, external input separately. So it gives you a lot of uh, access. This is this allows me to have one touch uh, access to control room over here, which is uh, very cool because. I have one touch access to stereo or mono mix. I have one touch access to uh, uh, to listen to the what the artist is hearing. If I click on C1 here, this directly gives me access to the artist's uh, monitor. So I can quickly send, uh, quickly make a mix uh, or modify the mix that goes into the artist's headphones and without bothering the artist, uh, you know, in between a recording and just make sure they're hearing everything properly at and at right levels. Mix is uh, listening to my own set of speakers here. The same option is here for the artist as well. If, they're, they're, if they find my mix better, I just have to give them this and cues like, you know, would be their mix. Sometimes they want to just play back and listen to what has been recorded and give, and I need to give them a, bit of my mix and then they can just listen to this uh, from the performance room. Talkback, uh, this would be the talkback level going to the artist. This is the click level going to the artist and this would be the master click level. Okay. And um, yeah, the, this is pretty much it. Oh, very important thing during um, mixing. I find is uh, these reference, this one touch reference uh, level buttons. So I've set this button to minus 12. This, you can assign this to anything. Um, so I 
like you know i can quickly go down to minus one touch axis to like reduce the level and listen to it dim pushes it further down normally i think it could it would take the whole mix down to minus 20 db or something so these are again very cool features to have it gives me a meter here and a loudness meter and you can pretty much uh go crazy with setting this up okay i think i've uh, pretty much covered uh this thing for today to get you started with your audio interfaces if you have any queries hit me up i'll leave uh, my email address uh in the section down here <laughs> thank you i hope you enjoyed it